look at that, man. Look at that. What's going on, Renaissance people? Renaissance Cam back in effect. Um, today, I have a really exciting recipe to share with y'all today. Um, long story short, as a child, I used to love watching SpongeBob SquarePants. I still do, honestly. Um, I have, I'm so glad that we put it on uh, Amazon, Fire Stick TV, whatever that is. I'm glad it's on there. I still watch all those episodes. But the inspiration of this video actually came from SpongeBob. So, as a child, my favorite episode was that episode when Squidward came out of his shell and tried a Krabby Patty. Now, Ever since I saw that episode, I always wanted to know what a Krabby Patty would taste like. So, today I'm excited to share with y'all my perspective of what a Krabby Patty should taste like. Um, and this is pretty much going to be a burger, a beef patty with crab meat stuffed inside. That sounds amazing, you gotta admit. That sounds amazing. But I haven't seen this on YouTube, I haven't seen this on the internet, so I'm going to be the first to share this with y'all and I hope y'all enjoy. Now, to be honest, this is my first time trying this recipe. So, if I mess up, it's a, if it's a fail, y'all are going to know because it's the first time for me doing it. And I'm also, oh, I'm making kelp fries as well to go with the Krabby Patty. Kelp fries, okay. Long story short, they're just gonna be french fries that I turned green, okay? So, green french fries and a Krabby Patty. Kelp fries, Krabby Patty. So all you guys are gonna need for this recipe is some 70-30 ground beef, some crab meat, some sliced sharp cheddar cheese, some cornstarch, some self-rising flour, some horseradish mustard, some yum yum sauce, some pickled chips, some egg, some potatoes, some butter lettuce, some sesame buns, some sea salt, some parsley, some extra virgin olive oil, some green food coloring, some paprika, some garlic powder, some lemon pepper, some complete body of seasoning, some black pepper, some old bay seasoning, some melted butter, some parsley, some tomato, and some red onion. Now as far as the ground beef, I use the 70-30 because fat is flavor, so I want to incorporate a lot of flavor into these Krabby Patties. And as far as the crab meat, I'm using snow crab clusters that I got from the local fish market. So y'all can use that canned crab with the, that liquid that's just soaking crab meat. Don't use that. I, I, I shouldn't have said that. Don't use that. Get you some fresh crab meat because that's going to bring the best flavor out of this dish. All right, this is snow crab clusters. I hand-picked all the meat out of it, and I made sure that there was a good portion to make two Krabby Patties. So, yeah, y'all get the, the good stuff. Don't, no, don't, don't get that. So right now, we're just gonna prep everything out first, so we don't have to waste any time when it comes to cooking. We can just put everything on the heat, let it rock, all right? So first things first, we're just gonna start off by seasoning our beef, all right? So, to the beef, we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. We're gonna add some garlic powder. We're gonna add a little bit of lemon pepper. We're gonna add some of this complete body of seasoning here. We're gonna add some black pepper. And we're gonna add some Old Bay seasoning. And we're gonna add some salt, some olive oil, and some dried parsley. After all that's added, we're gonna crack in one egg. And we're gonna mix. We're gonna get our hands dirty and we're gonna mix all this up. So next we're gonna put that to the side and we're going to season our crab meat a little bit, just, just a little bit so it still has some some flavor once we get into the middle. We're gonna season with a little bit of Old Bay and a little bit of garlic powder and just a little bit of lemon pepper. And we're just gonna mix that up as well. Thank you. 
All right, now you guys, it's time for the fun part. So now we're gonna form our patties. Now just get you a little piece of parchment paper or aluminum foil just to sit them on once you finish making them. So we're just gonna take a good wad of the ground beef and we're just gonna start kneading it together. You wanna make your patties about the same size as the bun, pretty much. And just note that the fat content determines how much these patties will shrink. Because when this fat burns off, then your pat you got shrinkage in your patty. So you want to make them relatively bigger than your bun, just so everything sits properly. So we're gonna form our patties first, and then we're gonna kind of make a little, just a little indentation in there for the crab meat to sit inside. We'll take a little bit of our crab meat or a lot, however you want to do it. Oh, that looks good already, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks great. A little bit in there, a lot, however you want to do it, doesn't matter to me. You got to make this your own. This, this is my recipe. I thought this up in the middle of the night one night. Take it. You just want to cover it. Conceal it. Take some other pieces of it. Just make sure that all the crab meat is concealed. There's nothing protruding out. It's almost like a crab ball. And then you flatten it. Once you get on the cast iron skillet, you flatten it. Get it cooked all the way through. Yes, sir. This is a real big patty. I have huge hands, by the way. I'm a quite a large individual. I'm like 6'7", 240 pounds. I'm a big dude. So, I need a big patty. A big crabby patty. And there's your, there's your crabby patty right there. It's huge. I mean, huge. I didn't think it was going to be that big, but that's, that's a good one pound burger almost. So now we're gonna take these and put these in the fridge for a little bit, let them solidify so that they don't fall apart as easy when we go to cook them, all right? All right, so now we're gonna take our potatoes and we're gonna prep them. Now, the easiest way to make french fries to me is to slice once, twice, three times, four times, five times. And then you just take each one like this here and just cut them up into individual strips. Pretty much the same size. And there you have it. Nice little french fries. Now what we're gonna do with our fries, we're just gonna put them all in a bag. And this is just gonna speed up the seasoning process as well as the food coloring process. I hope these really turn green, honestly. I don't, I don't know if they're gonna, this is gonna work. I know they're gonna be good, but I don't know if they're actually gonna be green or some other color. I hope they, they turn green though. But anyways, we're gonna take a little bit of salt Um, we're gonna take some pepper. A lot of pepper. A little bit of paprika. A lot of paprika. And some of this loving goodness right here. The body of complete seasoning, of course. I'm just gonna take a little splash of olive oil. 
Just gonna help everything kind of start coming together. Close that bad boy and shake it. All right, see how that all seasoned up nicely now? It all seasoned nicely. Now, we're gonna do the unexpected. We're gonna take some of this green food coloring. It's already on my hands all over the place. Okay, it's not on my hands as much. It was all over my hands. I had made a mess earlier, but it's, it's most of it came off now. But, um, yeah, we're just gonna take some of this. I hope I don't make a mess. I really don't wanna make a mess. Cause this stuff is disgusting. Like it's it's staining so bad. Take a little bit of this. Oh, see, it's on my hands already. God. All right. And we're just gonna pour some in here. Oh, it's really green. Wow. I didn't think it was gonna be that green. Okay. Okay. We're gonna take this and shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Now we want to soften this green up. This is a really, really loud green. See that? It's really loud. So we're going to take a little bit of soft rising flour and dump some in there. Close that. And then we're going to take some cornstarch and pour some of that in there as well. That's gonna make them crispy, real crispy. Textures everything in food, man. Telling. And then we're gonna close it, and then hopefully, by the time I finish shaking this around, we should have like some sort of green, crispy, oh, it's looking great, honestly. It's looking great, hold on. Hold on. Oh. Looking great. It's looking exactly how I wanted it to look, baby. Let's go. Come on, man. Let's go. Look at that. Look how green those are. Those look like vegetables, like, like, like real green vegetables almost. Like, I know potatoes are vegetables, but those look like, look at that. That's crazy, right? I'm telling you, this is my first time doing this. And we got some kelp fries going. These are ready to be fried, baby. Let's go. Let's go, man. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, this is off the dome. This is off the top of the head. This ain't, this ain't rehearsed. Let's go. All right, now we're gonna prep our toppings, all right? So, we got one tomato, one red onion, and we got our butter lettuce, all right? Pickles. I forgot about the pickles. Uh -oh. One more topping. The cheese. I'll just lay that right here. You know, we don't we don't need to put that with the vegetables and stuff. We're just gonna lay that right there. All right. All right, people. So right now I am preheating my oil to 375. This is gonna be for my kelp fries, my green French fries. If you don't understand what I'm saying, but that's preheating to 375 right now. And while that's preheating, I'm gonna start on the burgers. All right, people, so I just took my Krabby Patties out of the fridge. They look pretty solidified now. Hopefully they don't collapse on us when we put them in this, this hot pan. Now I got my pan over here heating up at about, I would say that's high heat. We wanna get as much heat on these burgers as possible. It's, that's the only thing, that's the only way that they're gonna get that good crust on each side, so. We're gonna heat them up. The key is to cook them for about maybe two, well, let's say three to four minutes on each side. And then make sure you let them rest for, I guess, maybe about 10 minutes. Let them rest for about 10 minutes and then they should be fine. I mean, we wanna make sure the center is cooked and warm. We wanna cook these burgers to about a medium, just about round medium. We don't want to do medium rare because we got that crab meat inside. We still want that to be nice and, and warm. So the crab meat's already cooked. So 
you want to make sure that the burgers are fully cooked. Not fully cooked, but medium. But about medium. We're going to cook these burgers to about medium, all right? So for starters, we want to hit this pan with a little bit of olive oil. Um, you can tell how hot the pan is by how the olive oil moves. See how the olive oil is spreading like that? That's how you know you got a hot pan. And you just want to kind of roll that around, make sure it's evenly coated. The pan's starting to smoke. I don't know if y'all can see that smoke coming out, but it's starting to smoke real good. So that's, that's a good thing. The thing I like about cast iron pans is that they they hold, they hold heat real well, so even when I take this off of the eye, it's still going to be nice and hot. Alright, so now, we just going to take our burgers, make sure they're still together, and we're just going to drop them in. Now I'm gonna turn this um, this vent fan on so I don't smoke up the entire house. So if you can't hear me, that's why. All right, guys. So these have been cooking for about three, probably four minutes. I'll say four minutes. So uh, let me give them a flip. I want to make sure this crust is nice and solidified because I don't want these to crumble apart, all right? All right, guys, so I got my burgers right here under some aluminum foil resting. And um, hopefully they finish cooking and then my oil is ready, so I'm about to drop the kelp fries right now. Alright guys, for our buns. I have some melted butter here and we're simply going to just brush some of this melted butter onto our buns and just give them a nice toast so that none of the ingredients soak into it. All right. All right guys, our kelp fries are looking fantastic. Oh my God. I would Look at those, they're, they're crispy, they're, they're soft in the inside, they're crispy on the outside, like these are perfect. This is exactly how I wanted these to come out. Um, so we're going to put these to the side and finish our buns and compose our burgers. Let's go. I am so excited. I'm hungry. It's like 10 30 at night right now, and I haven't eaten since like I think all I had today was some chips. But um, I'm starving right now, and this is the moment of truth. As you can see, that thing looks exquisite. I mean, look at that. Just look at it. That thing looks amazing, man. I can't wait to bite into it. It's perfectly cooked. 
It's just, oh, here, here it goes. Here it goes. I'm gonna take the fries first, but not. You hear that crunch? Yeah, you hear that crunch? Mmm. The fries are just, the fries are just as good as any other fries I made. They're just green. Remember, they're kelp fries. Men mentally, they're kelp fries, okay? Here goes nuts. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look, look how juicy it is. Just to, oh, it's falling. Oh, it's so juicy. Look at that. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, let me just. Oh my god. Why has nobody ever made this? Huh? I don't even like onions, but the onions set it off. Oh. Mm. I'm, not, I'm not gonna slow motion that all that juice. All that juice that just fell off of him. I'm not gonna slow motion that. But I'm gonna eat this whole thing in this whole sitting right now. I'm so Oh my god. I'm dying. Please, please you guys. Make this. Make this for your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Parents, make this for your children. Your children will love this. Your children will love that burger. So they love the cartoon. Everybody loves, I mean a lot of people, I love Spongebob. This is an old to Spongebob right here. This right here, hands down, probably the best thing I've ever made in my life, okay? You don't have to make this. God, man. Anyways, if you're not a subscriber to my channel, Please hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna try to keep as many interesting videos going out of my channel as possible. All I need is the support. And we're there. You know what I'm saying? We're up. So, thank y'all for watching this video. I hope everybody starts off their new year right. This is me starting my new year off right. And God bless y'all. Keep learning.